Yesterday, there was a shocking revelation from Democracy Watch saying that Justin Trudeau was currently under an active political investigation by the RCMP over the SNC-Lavalin scandal. Later in the day, the RCMP told the mainstream media that they were in fact not investigating Trudeau and the investigation was closed. So what is happening here exactly? Well, what's happening is the RCMP is protecting Trudeau, not investigating him. The RCMP responded to an access for information request from Democracy Watch with heavily redacted documents. The reason they gave for these redactions was that it was an ongoing investigation and they didn't want to compromise the investigation by releasing the full uh, information to the public. But we now know there isn't an investigation. In fact, following Democracy Watch's press release, the RCMP said there was, quote, insignificant evidence of a criminal offense, and they basically closed the file. So the question is, will the RCMP release the unredacted documents to the public, to Democracy Watch, now that we know that their claim of an investigation was complete horseshit, and there's no reason at all, legally, for them not to release the documents? Well, if I was to guess, I would say no, they would not release the documents. In fact, the RCMP has a recent history of playing political games on behalf of Justin Trudeau. In 2020, after the most deadly mass shooting in Canadian history happened in Nova Scotia, the RCMP was doing a press conference. Behind the scenes, RCMP Commissioner Brenda Lucky demanded that her officers release the information of which guns were used in the shooting, to the media. In a released phone call recording between Brenda Lucky and her subordinates, it was revealed that Lucky had promised Minister Bill Blair that she would release the information for political reasons. Flew it up the flagpole because it was a request that I got um, from the minister's office, and I shared with the minister that um, that in fact it was going to be in the. Uh, in the news release and it wasn't. Does anybody realize what's going on in the world of handguns and guns right now? The fact that they're in the middle of trying to get a legislation going. Fundamentally what was happening is Trudeau was trying to pass uh, sweeping gun bans. The RCMP was helping him by stirring up fear in the public and when the lower level officers refused to release the information about the weapons, Lucky was mad because it could cost her her job if Trudeau isn't re-elected. When it comes to the commissioner of the RCMP, that person is appointed by the governor and council. The governor and council is appointed by the privy council. The privy council is appointed by the governor general, who is subsequently appointed by the prime minister. Section 5.1 of the Royal Canadian Mountain Police Act says the governor and council may appoint an officer to be known as the commissioner of the Royal Canadian Mountain Police to hold office during pleasure who, under the direction of the minister, has the control and management of the force and all matters connected with the force. Meaning that the minister, appointed by Trudeau, in this case Bill Blair, directs the RCMP. And the minister of public safety is directed by the prime minister. The overarching problem to all of this is that Justin Trudeau and whoever's the Prime Minister has way too much power in the Canadian political system. The Prime Minister appoints the heads of all these organizations, they owe their jobs to him, so obviously there's a degree of loyalty there. And that incentive to keep your job and to keep, if Trudeau wins again, to get promoted to the next level, you know, that incentive is very strong for people. People are career driven, like all of us. It doesn't matter if they work in government or not. They want to impress their superiors. They want to impress the people that are in power. And what that seems to be coming down to is that the RCMP will seemingly do whatever it takes to make sure Trudeau stays favorable in the eyes of the public. This is completely unacceptable. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Subscribe to the channel and I'm going to be posting regular content now. So I hope you guys enjoy and uh, subscribe. Thank you.